Do you know we learn through our everyday experiences and interpretation of these experiences? That varies our views about reality. Over time, we build a frame of reference that allows us to interpret our experiences, coming from habits of expectations developed as we go about our lives. These habits of expectation can come in the form of meaning schemes or habitual expectations. For example, we know that water will quench your thirst. We also develop meaning perspectives from our beliefs. For example, when you we see a red rose, for some it's just a plant, but for some it signifies love and faithfulness. We each have our meaning perspectives, and these are sources of distortions. But what is critical reflection? Reflection or higher order mental processing comes from our prior learnings to identify if what we have learned is justified. This is a process when we explore our experiences leading to new understandings that includes evaluation, feelings, even judgment. And there are two types of reflection. There is a non-reflective action that involves going through what we already know, where our experience guide our action. Versus a reflective action that involves a thoughtful action with reflection, pausing, assessing, and thinking about, what am I doing? Hence, thinking before acting. But, because of our differences, we are challenged by distorting dilemmas defined by varying views of reality that must go through a perspective transformation. Meaning schemes are transformed by reflection on abnormality, while meaning perspectives are transformed through critical reflection. Critical reflection allows us to deal with a range of experiences, be more open to others' views, and better integrate our experiences. In summary, we may look at the transformative learning process starting with critical reflection. Critical reflection challenges the validity of our assumptions based on previous learnings which may be distorted. Then we go through a reflective discourse through dialogue that allows us to explore events experienced by others. This dialogue creates divergent perspectives leading to understandings manifested in new, healthier behaviors that make it transformative learning. Thus, critical reflection is the heart of first-person inquiry because it allows us to assess our view of reality. How we view reality affects how we interpret the actions of others and how we act. Hence, there must be a transformation in the self first before we can transform in the social world. Created using Powtoon.